Hello friends, welcome to your channel Phylab. Learn, analyze and build physics concept. Channel dedicated for understanding physics at plus two level. Thanks to all of you for browsing into this channel. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't done up till now. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video or solution from Newton Physics textbooks. Friends, uh, we are discussing about capacitance of a partially filled capacitor. This video is the part 2 in this series. If you haven't watched part 1, I would request you to first watch part 1 of this video and uh, the link of the same is given in the description box. Now here we have been given a parallel plate capacitor having the plate area A and distance D between the plates. The space in between the plates is filled by a dielectric of thickness T is equals to D but and dielectric constant K but this time the dielectric does not occupy the entire area between the two plates it just occupies half of the area in between the plates so what you can do you can think this capacitor as combo of two capacitors one which is completely filled with a dielectric can you see this one this is completely filled with a dielectric let me call this capacitor as c1 and another which is air filled this one is air filled and let me call this one as c2 so here we are having two capacitor one which is completely filled with the dielectric another which is filled with a the only difference is this this time is the area of the plates have been gone half so the capacitance of the first capacitor now happens to be k epsilon naught area has been reduced to half so a by 2 and the distance between the plates being d while the capacitance of the second capacitor will be epsilon naught a by 2 and the distance is still remain the same as d this distance is d for both the capacitors If you notice in this case the original capacitor can be thought to be divided by imaginary line which I have drawn horizontally now this these two capacitors are in fact joined from end to ends this left end is joined by this left end there is no division and the right end is joined by this right end and there is no division so C1 and C2 happens to be a parallel combo so here what you would observe that C1 and C2 happens to be in parallel combo so the net capacitance so the net capacitance will be simply the sum of c1 plus c2 now how much is c1 k epsilon naught a by 2 d what is a c2 that is epsilon naught a by 2 d now you can take epsilon naught a by 2 d outside so this will be k plus 1 so the c net of such type of capacitance can be obtained by this particular expression Hoping guys you all must have enjoyed learning with this video. Please share this video with your friends and classmates and add in your comments which topics you want me to do for you or any specific numerical problems you want me to solve for you. Thank you and enjoy learning.